Okay, so welcome everybody to a video review of the stuff we've been doing so far. And one of the patterns we did was this. Okay, isolating the textures. You've got ding, side, cavity. Ding, cavity, side, cavity, ding, cavity, side. Okay. And you got a nice groovy four like this. Boom. Boom. And we keep the rhythm on the right. And we start putting in the melody with the left hand. And the count is like this. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four and five six and seven and eight and so sometimes people ask do you play twice the high note and the low note yes because you finish where you start you finish where you start. Right. Um, and then we did a three pattern and the three pattern goes like this. Really important to not just jam everything in, in the same volume. You know, it's not a, it's not a djembe drum, so you can articulate and highlight your accents and there are a few combinations on this there there are a few varieties one is one 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 right. and you play your two three like ghost note so it's like play touch touch play touch touch play touch touch play touch touch You get into a nice flow with this it might feel a little bit unusual to accent every three times to alternate hands so give yourself some time to assimilate this and then when you do the one two three one two three becomes a note two three note two three and you're alternating hands one two three one two one, two, three. And you can take the previous exercise and bring it into this pattern. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So it's like a waltz. Two, three, one, two, three, one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And you can play, mix and match them. So you go from the outside to the inside, to the notes, to the ding. To the notes, to the ding. And already you can start painting, you can start inside of this. Mm -hmm. So after that we take this pattern and we don't accent the one always. We accent the one on the first two three and on the second two three we accent the two. So I really like this a lot. It, it sounds like uh, like very African tribal to me. You know, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. So just because we play the ding doesn't mean you have to accent the ding. One, 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 two, three. And then the second set of threes, the accent is on is on that shoulder slap there. with yourself or sing with yourself, 
I propose to you to use the Takatina system, and when you play three, it's Gamala, 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 Gamala. This way, when you're accenting it with your vocality, your hands will follow your voice. with notes the one the one is still is still here unless it's accented so one is accented there we take it to a note one two three one is still on the ding, but the accent is on the note after that. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Little trick with this pattern, whatever hand you start on is the hand that's going to do the notes for you. That's just kind of mathematics of this pattern. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's a really nice way to play. It also expands your phrase from 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 threes. Uh, and that's it. Happy practice, and see you next time. <laughs>